Welcome to episode 92 of Quest for a Thousand Songs, where you give me inspiration, ideas to help me get to a thousand songs in my catalog. Direct tonight from the Rob Lincoln Unpresidential Library. Let's get started. So this first song uh, just written is called The Third Place. The idea of the third place was a suggestion by Philadelphia area singer-songwriter Dolores Magro. And I didn't know what third place was, so I learned about it, but it's kind of with stream of consciousness and kind of went into some other things. Musically, I took a suggestion from singer-songwriter Ann Ramsey, who said, think of the Beatles song Rain and try to stick pretty much on one chord. Didn't quite do that, but it, you might notice a little musical similarity of some sort here. Again, this is the third place, song, um, song number 910. 910.
was the third place. That was the first take, first time I played that song through. And uh, kind of getting into it. Thank you for the inspiration of the concept of the third place, which I didn't really completely stick with. If I do have a third place, it's right here at the Rob Lincoln Unpresidential Library. But uh, thank you, Dolores, for that idea. And the musical idea of listening to Rain. Well, it didn't sound much like Rain. Thank you, Ian Ramsey. And now for something completely different next. This next song is called Isles of Shawls. That was a suggestion by singer-songwriter Julianne Ott, a wonderful singer-songwriter from the Fluffy area who I play violin with. And uh, I started reading about Isles of Shawls, which I had never heard of. It, they're located between New Hampshire and Mich Michigan. No, New Hampshire and Maine, off the coast. And uh, they have a very interesting history. So this song refers to a couple of historical incidents and personages, people who live there. It's called the Isles of Shoals. And the musical inspiration was a suggestion I listened to Bread. Pat Foltz suggested I listen to Bread. Thank you, Pat. I think it has a bread sound, but I don't think Bread would ever, David Gates and Bread would ever write about uh, obscure historical figures, but maybe I'm wrong. the Isles of Shoals. You can read on about all these strange things that went on. And this song is normally not played with a low E down to D, but I forgot to tune it back up and 
made some um, adjustments. I'll make sure to tune it right for the next song. It's a cover, as always, a cover I have just learned. So our cover for tonight is dedicated to Bobby Elliott. Who is Bobby Elliott? Well, he has a birthday. He's 82 years old as of a couple days ago. He is the drummer of the Hollies, a great 1960s band. So we're going to play a Hollies song written by Graham Gouldman and Charles Silverman. It's called Look Through Any Window. It was their first U.S. hit. Got to number 32 in 1966. I've always felt it's one of the happiest little ditties I've ever heard. Lyrics are kind of inane, but it's an enjoyable song, and I've never played it before until now. Here goes nothing. Look through any window, yeah. What do you see? Smiling faces all around. Rushing through the busy town where they go. Moving on their way. Walking down the highway. And the byways where they go. Moving on their way. People with their shy ways. And their sly ways. Oh, you can see the little children all around. Oh, you can see the little ladies in their gowns. When you look through any window, yeah. Any time of day. See the drivers on the roads. Pulling down the heavy loads where they go. Moving on their way. Driving down the highway. first take and we gotta get this up hopefully that brought back some memories sounds a heck of a lot better with that wonderful lead guitarist that they had in that band whose name escapes me at the moment he was a great uh, arpeggio in particular wonderful arpeggio and um and the drummer bobby elliott played a big part of that song as well he didn't write it but it really made that recording as did the harmony so my version pales in comparison but hopefully you enjoy hearing that old song again. Look Through Any Window by Graham Gouldman. Thanks so much for listening. Hopefully you enjoyed something in this episode. If you did, please like. If you haven't subscribed, it'd be really nice if you did. And come back next week for hopefully episode 93.